Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and lovely greetings from the full flight sim here in the southern part of Frankfurt. I'm here today with my buddy and pilot Pascal and we want to show you on how to fly a circling approach with the Airbus A220. Correct, and we've got everything set up so far and we're going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how you could fly a circling even in your home simulator, X-plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator on a real plane. So without further ado, I would say we get started. Have a great time. That's it. <laughs> Steve Bergamo, Julie Debbie, left on hotel, left on four left. You're in sequence behind the competition ahead to Towers 23.9. Today's video is brought to you by Full Flight Sim. Enjoy a private A320 session or prepare yourself for an upcoming airline screening. Full Flight Sim has it all. To briefly understand the procedure, let me explain you the key components of a circling approach in 30 seconds. It's a precision or non-precision approach that switches to a visual segment once you've reached the circling minima and have the runway in sight. At the minima, you perform a 45 degree left or right breakout turn with wind correction angle, fly that track for 45 seconds, then turn downwind plus or minus wind correction angle. Once abeam the landing runway threshold, you fly 30 seconds further outbound, correct it for head or tailwind, then perform a standard rate descending turn towards final and use the Papi to land the aircraft. Okay, we'll be performing this procedure at Sal on the island of Cape Verde. So let's get started. Activate the approach phase. Activated. Roger. I'm in the approach mode. First off, I'm ordering Pascal to activate the approach phase, followed by arming the approach mode and engaging the second autopilot, as you can see here on the PFD. So initially we are flying the standard ILS approach onto runway 01. Flaps 1. Speed checked. Flaps 1. Now for now I can use the automation as I do on any other ILS approach. With one difference, you have to change the minimum to the circling minima, which can be found at the bottom of the approach chart. Now, as we choose to fly west of the runway, we got the MDA of 1,280 feet, which you can see here, and set on the PFD. Now you see the localizer coming in and being captured by the autopilot, so the lateral guidance is given, and I'm already requesting flaps 2. Okay. Flaps 2. Be checked. Flaps 2. You may ask why so early. As this is treated as a non-precision approach, it is highly recommended to fly this approach stabilized rather than decelerated. Meaning, configure yourself to flaps 3 and the gear down when intercepting the glide slope. Take your time. Glide slope capture, missed approach altitude 2500 feet set. Checked. Gear down. Gear down. Flaps 3. Speed checked. Flaps 3. So as the glide slope got captured, I set the missed approach altitude from the ILS and asked for gear down, flaps 3. Level off altitude 1300. Checked. Pascal is reminding me that the next step is to level off at the circling minima. This is good practice during such an approach as you should always be ahead of the aircraft and plan everything in small steps as there is nothing worse than falling behind and not knowing what to do next. So we are now fully established on the ILS-01. Configuration wise only flaps full is missing and the landing checklist, but we come to that later. I'll race straight ahead. Checked. 2000. Roger, landing checklist. Landing checklist, no blue except flaps for... Checks. So we are now closing in on the circling minima. Now as a key tip, press the vertical speed or level off push button 100 feet above the minima or you might undershoot the minima. And this is where the visual part of the circling approach then starts. Push to level off. 100 above. Checked. Heading select. Three, two, six. Set. Checked. 
Now a quick wind correction angle calculation. So the formula to use is wind angle, which we have of 44 degrees times wind speed of 10 knots divided by true air speed of 150 knots equals 3 degrees wind correction angle, which in our case we needed to subtract from our desired course to fly the correct track. Now with track zero one one. Now instead of calculating the heading with the wind correction, you can just press the track FPA button and your heading selector becomes now a track selector. Activate secondary. Activate secondary flight plan, please. Secondary flight plan activated. This yet again is just to be another step ahead. We prepared the secondary flight plan as such that we have the extended centerline of runway 19 and the go around of ILS approach runway 01. It's a fantastic tool for situational awareness and preparation in case of a go around. So we have a 10 knots tailwind that will make us uh, 20 seconds outbound or 23 seconds outbound. Start timer now. So without wind, we would have to fly 30 seconds outbound. But we have a 10 knots tailwind, which equals minus 10 seconds, so 20 seconds outbound. And as the airport is at 184 feet and we are at 1300 feet, we have to lose 1100 feet, which equals 23 seconds to fly outbound and then start the turn and descent. Roger. Roger. Order pilot off. Flight directors off. Track. Manage speed. Speed managed. Full flaps. Flaps full. Now this is probably the trickiest part of the approach. Fly the turn at a standard rate and initially pitch down to start a shallow descent of 300 to 500 feet per minute during the base turn whilst extending flaps to full. Then increase the descent rate according to your ground speed times 5 and then use the PARPI as the vertical guidance on final. Trust me, this may need a bit of practice at the beginning. One right. Two red, two whites. Auto thrust comes off. Landing checks are Yeah. Four. Eka Mimo, landing no blue. Landing no blue. 300. 200. 100. 50, 40, 30. 20, retard. Also, spoilers. Reverse green. Checked. G cell. Seventy not checked. Full stop? Yep, full stop. And set the parking brake, please. Parking brake set. Okay. <laughs> nice. We hope you enjoyed this video today and you were able to take away a few helpful tips when practicing this at home. Please keep in mind, this procedure is a precision approach which switches to a non-precision approach. So we highly recommend to fly this conservatively. Fly this as a stabilized approach rather than a decelerated approach. And once you break out of the circling minima, you are often at a lower altitude than you would be in a normal traffic pattern. So take your time and do it correctly rather than messing it up and having to fly a very tricky go around. Very true, Joey. And uh, speaking of traffic pattern, Joey and I flew patterns with the sim and recorded um, a fantastic video for you guys. So if you want, go and check it out. Click the highlight video on the left hand corner up there and enjoy another great flying session. I also want to emphasize how amazing this full flight simulator is that Michael provided us for today. 
We've both sat in many full flight simulators and True. this is very close to the real thing. If you want to book your first session, check out the link in the description box below. And that's it for today. And here's your checklist. Subscribe to both of our channels, check. Follow both our Instagram accounts, check. Hit the notification bell, check. And don't forget. A good pilot is always learning. That's very true. Wishing you all the best from Pascal, Kayla, Captain Joe. <laughs>